the Weybert Processing Plant in Cape Sable Island. It's a processing plant in name only. They don't do much processing here. Just pack the fish for a truck ride to Boston. Three million pounds goes to the states from here every year. And that's the way the owner likes it. Because we're living the way we want to live. We've been living free. No unions, shipping the fish to the United States, and the returns comes back in seven days, and we pay the fishermen a good price. They can only continue to do that as long as they're allowed to destroy an industry. The CAW wants trucking stopped. Hundreds of its unionized workers have been thrown out of work because there wasn't enough fish to keep the big national sea plants going. When there's not enough for who's left, don't take any of it away. So the CAW and National Sea are together lobbying the province to keep unprocessed fish from crossing the border. That's a direct attack on independent processors. And it annoys Cecil Weybert, who happens to be president of the Independence Association. They should leave us alone. If they got a fight with National, they should take it up with National. We don't need nobody from Oshawa coming down here and telling us how to run our fisheries. We can do it ourselves. We did it for a hundred years, we still can do it. And they're doing a pretty good job. Other areas of the fishery may be suffering, but not those who truck whole fish to the United States. They've never had it so good. The Americans can't find fish, so they turn to the independents. The price is high. It's cheaper to truck whole fish than it is to process it. Everyone involved wins. Our fishermen is living rich would i think you would call it rich they all got cars satellites new fiberglass boats they go duck hunting deer hunting on cape sable island stony island fisheries does the trucking for 15 small processors like cecil Weber. twice a day stony island trucks go to boston in the course of a year that amounts to seven million pounds of whole fish year-round work for 50 people and a million dollars in salaries pumped into the local economy. Mervyn Atkinson owns Stony Island Fisheries. He's seen plants come and go, yet he's still here. But if the CAW has its way, he won't be here much longer. I was speaking to my employees yesterday about it, what effect it would have on them that, you know, we just wouldn't be, be operating this. With jobs at stake, the independents have a powerful ally. There are thousands of fishermen involved here. Uh, who are entitled to get the best competitive price they can for their fish. So no matter what the big union and the big company wants, it seems unlikely the province will do anything to jeopardize one sector of the fishing industry that is healthy. Paul Withers, CBC News, Cape Sable Island.